Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Shivam Timre. So in today's session, we are going to look at ASN in Oracle WMS Cloud. So ASN is nothing but an advanced shipment notice in WMS application. Basically, ASN is a record that contains retains way of pending delivery to particular facilities. So in other words, we can say that ASN are WMS records that provide the ability to control the influx or inflow of inventory to the warehouse. You can run your reports on all your advanced shipment notice. So advanced shipment notice from host, supplier or manually created at receiving for tracking or visibility. Item level ASN. So item level ASN give us information about the item and quantity or we can say SKU and quantities. SKU is nothing but a stock keeping number. LPN level ASN. Now LPN is license plate number. So LPN level ASN give us information about the supplier palletize and they are sending the whole structure of ASN with LPN, SKU and quantities. So every ASN record has an associated inbound load number inbound loads are required to receive asn that is advanced shipment notice uh, description of asn status so here we have multiple status multiple asn status so first one is in transit so in this advanced shipment notice has been created but not yet received so it means that receiving has not started yet now next status that is receiving started so in at the receiving started the first quantity has been received so receiving for advanced shipment notice has started but not completed next status that is receiving complete so the advanced shipment notice has been fully received so the last case or unit has been received so in at the receiving complete the last case or unit has been received next is asn status that is verified so in the case of verified advanced shipment notice has been received but in this state advanced shipment notice has been closed and moved out to receiving process and at the last our last status that is cancelled so in this advanced shipment notice is cancelled okay now let's go to our instance and manually create an asn now for creating ASN, search for inbound shipment. Click on create icon. Okay, here you can generate your shipment number or you can manually fill the details. Click on the generate icon. You, in this way, you can generate your shipment number in our WMS. Okay, A status that is in transit. As we all know that how many status we have in our WMS cloud for our inbound shipment. Okay, so here status that is in transit and at the in transit status, you can modify, update, okay, update your record. But in case of your receiving started or verified or receiving complete status, you cannot modify or update any details or attribute related details. Just click on save. Okay, now here ASN header is created in our WMS cloud. The next step is to add the items that are expected for this advanced shipment notice. To add item, select this ASN row and click on the inbound shipment details icon. Here you can specify your all such details like your manufacturing date, purchase order number. You can specify your LPN number. Okay, ship the quantity. Okay, click on create icon here. Our inbound shipment number that is SH and with 352. Now you can specify the manufacturing date. Let's say tomorrow's date. Okay, now you can select your purchase order number. Here is our purchase order number that is 623675. So select your purchase order number you can specify your item save our item that is bearing 
yeah here is our item you can select your item just click on ok now lpn number license plate number let's say license plate number that is 56 142 okay. now ship quantity you can specify here ship quantity is a mandatory attribute over here okay so the mandatory attribute in at the inbound shipment detail is ship the quantities so let's say we are shipping 750 quantities now here you can specify your expiry date and all such details if your lpn is a pallet you can enable the checkbox here is our checkbox so a license plate number is pallet so you can enable the checkbox or you can specify the lot number and lpn volume and all such details over here here the pallet number Okay, just click on save. So shipment quantity 750 more than purchase order quantity 550. So our purchase order contains only 550 quantities. Okay, so we have to change the quantities. Our shipment quantities, let's say we are shipped 500 quantity. Now just click on save. Inbound shipment number facility code facility name company inbound order number manufacturing date or my item related details okay item barcode item code lpn number lpn status not received yet so ship the quantity that is 500 yeah click on inbound shipments just click on refresh so here, here you can see the ship to quantity gets updated and lpn numbers okay so one lpn number is generated in the inbound shipments okay, here are all the details inbound numbers inbound orders number that is nothing but our purchase order number so in this way you can manually create ASN at one shipment notice in wms cloud warehouse management system cloud so thank you for watching the video thank you so much